Good morning, world. So, I am making a little breakfast that is kefir. That is kefir. I'm going to add it to some, I don't know, granola or something. I don't know. We'll just, I'll make something. Then you go to Seattle. Um, so, I think it's time for an almighty update. That's what I think. So people are just wonderful creatures. We're all such beautiful souls that even even when you interact with people, you interact with them on so many different levels that sometimes you're not even conscious of. The things you have in your heart, the things you have in your mind, the things that you do all around you, they are transparent to the people that are observant. So as for me, I can see so many things in people. Their heart, their emotions, their what they're thinking, what they want to do, what they're trying to accomplish. They're trying to manipulate you. They're trying to... Mm, they do this, that, or the other thing. But when you when you can connect with somebody that's just like you, you can connect with them on that level, you can be talking about shoes or sand or, you know, just drawing or anything in the world. You can talk about anything in the world. And that conversation, my friend, becomes divine. It it, it begins to unlock things in your mind that starts starts clicking and, and giving you answers about life. This is what philosophy is about. You you start to explore the patterns that Mother Nature has already placed in front of you, and you can connect the the correlations between the dots of something completely off the wall and correlate it down to your personal life, to how you exist, to how you function, to how your your brain works. A good example, like I was talking earlier, if you are the kind of person that, you know, you lack attention in a certain place or field of life, like, let's say, you know, you have... Parasites all over your home. You have fleas everywhere, and you just let that happen for years and years and years. So now you have an infestation. That same problem, the same problem, will manifest itself in many different ways across your life. You know, personal, intrapersonal, um, anything that requires energy, you're going to have something that's sucking that energy because you are not paying attention to the things that's taking away your energy, stealing your energy, and you're not dealing with the problem. So that problem is going to manifest itself on every single possible level of your life. And since you're unaware of it even on one level, you're going to be unaware of it on every single possible level that it might exist. So what I'm saying is, if you have something that's going wrong, just, just look around yourself. Just look around yourself. And start, start very small. Start with the easiest thing that you can possibly do. Like, like me, just now, I cleaned the bathroom with a toothbrush. That's all I did. And then that inspiration to clean out all the dirt from every nook and cranny is going to inspire you to do so in your heart and in your life. So get rid of all the people that are dragging you down. Start to notice the filth that is all around you. And you, you start to see it in a much clearer fashion because you see how you feel and how it makes you feel when it's gone. So practice the art of observation. Just observe your surroundings because every little thing that happens in your existence is a clue to where you are in life. Once again, I'm spinning, and it's the almighty update. Thank you. Stay tuned for, you know, crazy shenanigans. A little hot in here. Oh, yeah. You know, I've known this throughout, eh, for a while now, I guess. You know, just, you know, I, I walk around with my, with my strength, with my confidence, with, with all the power. Clarity, all of these masculine traits, you know, drive, force, you know, battle, and, and you know, very masculine things. But shit, I'm such a woman. <laughs> I am such a woman. Like, my, my, my right side of the brain is like, hey, intuition and, and emotions, and it's beautiful. And I just got to say, I love every second of it. That's why I love you women so much. You live this way all the time. You feel, you think, you do this, and I can connect with you so well because I love you. And connecting with each one of you ladies, oh, it fills up my heart so much. Uh, that's why I'm so proud to have such strong female friends on here and in life. Because it is truly you women that ever change anything in this world. Because who do the guys listen to? You. And what do the guys want? You. So guess what? From the guys, ask, ask of them exactly what you want to receive for yourself and from the world. And we'll give it to you. We want sex that bad that we will change the world. We want to have sex with you so bad that we will bring upon this earth world peace. So if that's what you want, that's what we'll deliver to you. You just got to ask for it. So women, strong women, strong women, I love you so much. And I will give my life for you. And that you can take to the bank.
This is to all of you beautiful women whom I love so much. Little pretty flower, pretty rose that we grew. It's very yummy, very smelly. You guys would die from this one. It smells <sighs> like beauty. I love Pokemon Go for another reason besides world peace because that's exactly what's going on. You know, people are connecting more, people are willing to go outside and exercise and all these cool things. But Pokemon Go is also just a representation of how actual life really is. You know, virtual reality, you, know, you, you seeing things in front of you and controlling, controlling the outcomes. You know, you have full control over what happens. Um, just, just the fact that your body is the phone, what you're seeing is this phone screen and you you, the person playing the game, this game around us, is on another level of thinking, if that makes sense. Another dimension, I'm going to say. Just best word that I'm going to come up with. You know, don't think like, oh my god, dimensions. Just just a different plane of existence. You know, 2D, 3D. As I sit here and enjoy my day of running around afterwards, take in a nice breath of fresh air and enjoy life. I just want to say, so what I'm doing here is, you know, connecting with each and every single one of you, just individually, and, and showing you guys that true love is, is really possible between people. I'm showing you a community that cares, a community that wants to help each other out, a community that wants to better themselves, to better the world, to just better, to have something better. A community that doesn't put people down, a community that just wants to uplift and, and succeed and know that there's plenty for, for everybody to go around, to, to share, to, to give to each other. And that I am just a reason for you guys to get together. You're like, oh, you meet somebody else that you know, listens to Almighty Psyche or watches Almighty Psyche or just talks to me or wears one of my shirts, you know, buys one of my shower curtains and or you know, some of my canvases, whatever, something of mine. And you can connect over there. It's like, oh, Andre's so cool, bam, and then forget about me. Who cares about me? Nobody cares about me. Because I am only a catalyst. I'm only something to get your relationship started with somebody else. I don't want you to do the heavy lifting, you know. I'm, I'm sifting through the people in order to help you find the ones that will love and appreciate you for exactly who you are and give you the freedom to be exactly who you are and you want to be. So, where where my things? Where my flag? Where my logo? I don't know. Where my designs? With pride because it's it's a community. It's it's just like it's just like a Chinese proverb. It's like, you know, the red string thing that uh, a dear friend of mine Emily sent me. It's it's just a way you know that how you connect and how you will interact with each other others lives as you as you move forward and if you see that then you know bam that's a person to connect that's a person who's going to understand me that's a person who's going to give me the same amount of love that i give them so i'm not i'm not making art i'm not doing anything i'm building a community of respectable people that just want nothing but love ah. and i guess that's a twofer for today almighty update So I cooked a very nice meal, didn't want to eat it, instead played piano for about a half hour. Check it out on YouTube, guys! This just might be, you know, today is Andre speaking, but I'm trying to calm down. I've been so intense lately, I just relax and smooth everything out. It's been feeling like life has been going a million miles an hour, and I finally kind of pushed on the brakes to, to breathe. It's important to breathe. Breathe, guys.